Hello class, welcome back to our discussion in Eng 10. We are now in chapter 4 and chapter 4 talks about exponential and logarithmic functions. So we are going to talk each of these functions. Uh, for this video, I am going to talk about the basic of exponential function. More specifically, we are going to define exponential function and practice our skill in identifying exponential functions. Okay. So what is an exponential function? For any real number x, an exponential function is a function with the form f of x is equal to a b raised to x, where a is a non-zero real number called the initial value and b is any positive real number such that b is not equal to 1. Okay, so we have two parameters here, a and b. This a here is the initial value. Okay, and b is the base of this one. Okay, so only b is raised to x. Okay, so x is our... Uh, independent variable in this case so our independent variable is now in the exponent okay so an exponential function is a function where the independent variable is on the exponent take note here that a should be a real number so it can be positive it can be negative but b on the other hand is only uh, restricted to positive real numbers okay so it cannot be negative number okay so there are two cases here when b is between uh, between 0 and 1 and when b is greater than 1 okay so examples of the uh, values of b between 0 and 1 are fractions okay when your base is a fraction okay so we have a we have a decay okay so we have an exponential decay but when b is greater than one we have an exponential we have an exponential growth okay so b cannot be equal to one because when b is equal to one whatever the value of your independent variable x the value of the function is the same right because when b is equal to one the base is equal to one so whatever exponent you have it cannot change the value of the function okay so let us now identify certain functions and let us uh, say if it is an exponential or not an exponential okay so for letter A, we have f of x is equal to 4 raised to 3 times x minus 2. Okay, our base is 4, so uh, it fits. Okay, it's a real number. And the independent variable is on the exponent. Okay, x, we have x on the exponent. Therefore, this is an exponential. Okay, so this is an exponential. Okay, so this is an exponential function how about number two number two we have a base x and exponent three okay this is not an exponential function because our base is not a real number it's actually the independent variable and our exponent is not x all right so this is actually a power function right so this is not an exponential not an exponential function okay for letter c h of x equals one third x our base is one third that's okay it's a real number and we have an independent variable x that's also okay because uh, an exponential function has an independent variable in the exponent so this is an exponential okay this is an exponential function Okay. For letter D, this is the base, and as you can see, the base is a negative 
number. Remember, we have restricted our base to be a positive real number. So, this is not an exponential, not an exponential function. Okay, so that's how you determine or identify functions if they are exponential or not. Okay?